Hi, this is Drew with the Mission RV Services Monday Quick Tip. Last week we talked about water heaters and not having power on 120 volt electric. So today is another call we get frequently. This usually happens when people dewinterize their their campers. So we'll get the call that you know I hear I see the propane running or I get hot water for a few like maybe a minute or a couple minutes and then it turns warm and gets cold. I don't know why my water heater isn't warming correctly. So the first thing we always ask our customers before we even go out is, is your bypass in the proper position? And they'll say, yes, my hot water is running. I'm telling you, I'm getting hot water. But that really doesn't answer the question for everybody. So, and sometimes people just don't know what to look for. So the first thing we do when we get to a call is we'll come out, I'll open up here. And the first thing I want to check for is I'll grab the pop-off valve. And I want to know, is that hot? And it's not so hot that you can't touch it, but it is very warm. If that's very warm, I know for sure that, okay, this is putting out the proper either electric or gas. It's, it's calling for hot water and it's giving hot water. So the next thing I do is I go in and I ask our customer, or I go in and check what I've asked our customer to do is check their valves. So your bypasses could be multiple places. On this particular unit, there's a cabinet inside in the bathroom and there's an access panel, you pop that access panel, not always, but normally right behind the water heater. So there's two lines, there's a line that goes into the water heater and a line that feeds out. But those bypass valves are generally very close to this. On some rigs, it's in the water closet. It has a winterized, dewinterized valve. You turn it and that bypasses from the water heater. Um, sometimes on fifth wheels, you'll have your water heater, you'll have an access panel that you can open up and get to it that way. And we'll put a picture of what we're looking for when we look at the valves. We want to see that on the hot water side and the cold water side, our valves are turned in the direction of those hoses. And then the bypass valve, we want to see that opposed. If you're not familiar and you don't feel comfortable looking for that, again, go to the rbtaa.org, find a qualified, certified RV technician near you, and they can come out and they can help you out with this. But this is definitely something a DIYer could do themselves and totally get this fixed where you don't have to call a tech, but we're always there for you if you need us. Again, this has been Drew with another Mission RV Services Monday Quick Tip. Until next week, everybody, see you later.